Have you ever been faced with a challenge or a task that was so difficult it seemed nearly impossible? Well, in today's Bible story, we're going to meet a boy who trusted God to help him win his battle. So long ago, there was a boy named David. Now, David spent his time working as a shepherd, and it was his job to take care of his father's sheep in the fields. In his free time, David played instruments and wrote songs and poems that you can find in the book of Psalms in your Bible. Now, David and his family were Israelites, and at the time, King Saul was the leader of the Israelites. And they weren't getting along with a group of people called the Philistines. The Israelite army set up their camp on one hill, and the Philistine army set up their camp on another hill, across from the Israelites. The Philistine army was made up of many great fighters, but the biggest and strongest of them all was a giant named Goliath. Goliath was over nine feet tall, which is taller than any person recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records. He would have had to bend way down to get through a regular door. Now Goliath was covered with armor to protect him and he carried a big spear. And every morning and every evening for 40 days, he shouted to the Israelites in his big deep voice, Hey, hey you guys, I dare you to find one man to fight me. If he can beat me, we will become your servants. But if I win, you will become our servants. When King Saul and all his men heard this, they were very afraid. David's three older brothers fought in King Saul's army. And David's father, Jesse, heard about the giant and he was so worried for his sons that he sent David out to take some food to his brothers and report back on how they were doing. So David set off to visit his brothers, and as he approached the camp, he heard Goliath shouting his challenge like he did every morning. Isn't someone going to stand up to this man? David asked the men in the army. Okay, then I will fight this giant Philistine. One of the men overheard this and ran to the king and told him what David said. Saul went to David and said, You can't fight Goliath. You're only a boy, and he has been fighting for many, many years. But David said to Saul, I have had to fight lions and bears to protect my father's sheep. God helped keep me safe then, and he will help keep me safe now. So, Saul dressed David in heavy armor to protect him from Goliath, but David took it off. It was so heavy he could hardly walk, and he knew that God would help keep him from harm. So instead, David looked around and found five smooth stones. He put them in a pouch around his waist, grabbed a slingshot, and went to meet Goliath. As David approached the Philistine camp. Goliath took one look at him and thought it was all a joke. He thought that he could easily beat David and he could not believe that Saul would send a small boy to fight him. But David said to Goliath without fear, you fight with the sword and I come with God on my side. And today everyone will know that there is one true God in this land. Now, Goliath didn't care what David had to say, so he moved in, ready to attack. And David reached into his pouch and pulled out a stone. He put the stone into his slingshot and let it fly. And the stone hit Goliath right between his eyes. He fell and hit the ground with a huge thud. David had done it. He beat the giant Philistine. And when the rest of the Philistines saw this, they ran away. And David became a hero and celebrated by all of the people in Israel. That's a great story, huh? Well, we can learn a few things about trusting in God from David. Now first, Goliath was a giant and David was just a kid. See, Goliath was a grown man and to top it off, he was taller than normal. 
Now the Bible says that Goliath was over nine feet tall. And just to give you an idea of just how tall that is, an NBA basketball goal is about 10 feet tall. So that means that Goliath could have dunked the basketball without ever even leaving the ground. And David was still a teenager. And as far as everyone could see, David was just a regular guy. He wasn't tall and he didn't appear to have superhuman strength like Goliath had. But he was still confident. Also, Goliath was a fighter and David, well, he, he wasn't. See, not only was Goliath bigger and taller than little David, but he was also a trained warrior. He'd been fighting for most of his life and he had the best weapons and he knew how to use them. David, on the other hand, just had a slingshot and some stones, and he spent his days watching sheep. Now sheep are some of the most gentle and most helpless creatures ever, so fighting really wasn't a part of David's daily routine. And then, nobody really thought that David could beat Goliath. I mean, so the odds were totally against David. A kid winning a fight against a giant warrior just didn't seem possible. So nobody believed in David. But David believed in God. And his faith gave him the confidence he needed to not only accept Goliath's challenge, but also knock him out. So as you go throughout your week, I hope that you'll remember David's story. And that it teaches us that even little people can have big faith. And if you just trust God, he can help you do the impossible.